Hey man, um, so I got your email. I'll kind of do this fast so I don't have to edit this video. But, um, so I actually just have a K pump. Um, this is the K100. And then, so I use this to just top off thwarts. Um, once I get my boat up to pressure, then I can top it off with, you know, a few more pumps uh, on the river when it gets cold. Um, but this is my go to. Um, this is basically the newest version of the Davy Boy. I just made a couple improvements where I have um, I have basically this cut or this drilled out uh, this hole and then tapped and then the largest connection. From a physics perspective um, if this tube is nice and large you don't lose a lot of uh, friction even though you're still going to this narrow um, uh, uh, air has a tremendous amount of friction, so uh, here's the action on this, you know, it's just, just you know, pumping uh, without pressure is really effortless. Um, so this is an inch and a quarter to, this is the standard 7 eighths inch outside diameter. So op opening this up. <laughs> Um, so, revisiting the Davy Boy, I uh, made more cutouts so when on the upstroke air goes through each of these four locations. Um, and then this O ring I get from the company who actually makes four inch PVC um, pumps. So, uh, they're all pretty standard. So on this on this pump, I'm actually about sixty five bucks uh, for everything. This O ring surprisingly actually cost me eight bucks, um, and then all the PVC, all the tubing. Um, but this is my go to. I actually will probably make one of these that's just a, a little bit shorter, um, and um, but I like the reach on this. When I do my pumping, I really only pump like this, so. I uh, just flex my knees and I really don't uh, use my arms at all. Um, so if you're pumping a lot of boats, this is one way to save your arms for actually using it when you go rafting. Um, so that's a little tip. And then I made this one for river trips. So if I went on a multi-day, I would take this one and I still do take this one because I can keep it completely dry. Um, I just need to work on the handle mechanism a little bit. It works just fine. Um, but what I got here is basically a short version. Um, but you know, if I was down here, I don't want to be too squat over. But honestly, it doesn't really matter if this handle was right down there. Then you just take it out and go. Um, but I did thread this in there. And then so it's fairly simple. Um, let's see if I can catch the threads. What happened on this pump was the handle, I had to tap both these things in. Uh, so this whole this whole thing actually gets threaded into that as well, uh, but the handle kind of got crooked on me, so it's a little crooked. But hey, it works just fine. I got more holes in here, so that's even more effortless. So I'll probably put these same holes on this pump. It does a better job. Um, same attachment. Same seven foot hose. Um, but this, then if I'm on a multi day trip, it fits in this bag. And I really, the only way I want to pump more than 10 pumps with the K pump is doing uh, this motion. So, but anyway, I haven't 
um, experimented with making um, the the plunger part. I mean, because this is just three inch PVC, and um, but I have an experiment making with the plunger part. Uh, so that's kind of the only thing that would, you know, I thought of making one of these, but um, I already purchased this a while back, and honestly, seems unbreakable um, and worth its weight in gold. Um, if you have one of these PVC pumps, or if you want me to make you one, uh, then if I had to buy this pump again, I would buy even the shorter one. I don't know. It's a good length, but... Um, actually, this is actually a pretty good length. The shorter one is just nice and compact. So, I would not buy the 4-inch one, because this is a 4-inch uh, PVC pump. And if you're going to get 4-inch, because this thing is exhausting. If I've actually pumped my entire little boat up with this, and you just get really tired. Um, it's just not worth it. And so there would be no reason to get the 4-inch one because it just be more tiring because you can only use one hand on it there's no two handles um, so this motion is kind of exhausting all right Oof, a little bit longer video than I wanted but uh, yeah man give me your thoughts feedbacks um, this cost me 65 bucks in parts so if you ever uh, you know it's a two, 200 200 dollar value on these you know, I actually bought the five-inch NRS one for two, what, two hundred, two twenty. Um, uh, still well worth it. Then I made this, and so now I got pumps. Way too many pumps, but it's nice to have. Uh, the other feature that I do to this K pump, um, and they changed the valve, but I actually on the newer ones you can still um, get down to. This is very nice because it's fast, seven, seven eighths inch. I can take it out and put uh, this in, and then I can, sometimes this has a hard time getting to thwarts um, or into tighter valve locations. Uh, this is a $12 product. This is your uh, gauge, and this works great for all the newer raft valves. You just stick it in, check your pressure. Um, Yep, so Sam's floor exploded. I even had this gauge, but uh, this can keep you from or just getting the same pressure each time, too, is really nice, but also keep you from overinflating. So, all right, that's kind of what I want to show you. So, all right, man, peace out.